a radiologist will always be a physician clinician and a consultant consultant agar aapko radiology patal mein bhi mil raha hai to wahan pe jaake le lo please do not become a radiologist we use pre clinical anatomy we use para clinical stuff pre clinical stuff jot them together with the clinical stuff and give a report so radiologist is a central branch and specials clear it way easily if they study then repeaters ban gaya radiologist <laughs> So, ये तो हुआ अपना डायग्नोस्टिक पार्ट टेल एस मोर अबाउट इंटरवेंशनल रेडियोलॉजिस्ट बिकॉज द रेडियोलॉजिस्ट है कम आउट ऑफ देर बाउंड्रीज आई वुड से और दे आर यू नो कमिंग into our you know into our branches i would say because most of the time uh, interventional radiologists they do so many things which uh, prevent surgery or i would say that uh, it's uh, um uh, less invasive procedure uh, where a patient can be benefited without surgery or any uh, other uh, management so uh, tell us more about interventional radiology so oh, yeah first i will say that this question itself uh, is an answer to your previous question that radiology is not a uh, just a para clinical or preclinical it has very much a clinical and now an interventional branch as well so to be very honest i had not very much exposure into the vascular interventions we did many non vascular intervention procedures but uh, vascular intervention is a separate huge entity which is a uh, super specialization after radiology so what i know about vascular interventions is ki you have very good output whatever interventions you do patient will consider you as god because there is miraculously changed patient uh, condition after the intervention procedure because the procedures are like that you remove a clot you do uh, embolization you do uh, whatever procedures so the patient is going to benefit whole lot and the patient thinks that you have done wonders for him secondly coming to non vascular interventions which we usually do in a set which a resident does uh, most of the time is the tapping procedures the uh, in a as suprapubic uh, catheterization or tail insertion so it is purely skill based now so coming to the skills karte 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 hum seekhte hain one more thing where uh, the previous question i would say this intervention thing you get more and more hands on in government institute rather than private institute because a private institute a consultant will never consultant or a patient will never let the resident do it independently we get your all the procedures to do ourselves independently and we are thought properly before we do it unless we read the procedures well no one's going to give us the procedures to do it on our own so it is a rewarding thing even for a radiologist ki bhai tumko aata hai to tumko karne milega nahi aata hai to nahi karne milega and this one thing is baki kuch bhi aap baad mein seekh loge MRI nahi hai institute mein you learn MRI CT nahi hai institute mein you learn CT but this intervention thing which you get to learn during residency you not get to learn other ways so vascular intervention is completely different uh, field jo har medical branch mein nahi hoti hai so if one more point i would like to raise here agar aapko intervention mein interest hai aur karna chahte ho make sure you select an institute if you get with interventional radiology as a separate branch and if you are not sure about it if you are fine with diagnostic radiology you can select any other institute which you want so that is it what are the super specialty branches you have in radiology or uh, what are the options for mrcr or frcr so uh, post radiology you have many options you can go for dm intervention dm neuro interventions uh or you can undergo fellowships uh you can select a specific uh area of interest like you can do fellowship in breast imaging you can do fellowship in muscular skeletal imaging and intervention uh there are fellowships in fetal imaging uh so uh, depending on your area of interest in residency which you like you can proceed further with a uh, you know refining yourself in that particular field in the form of fellowships so people do fellowships more often rather than going for dm because there are very 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 less uh, fees in dm plus the majority of the people 
are not that much interested in intervention. Uh, secondly, FRCR, as far as FRCR is concerned, FRCR is a fellowship of Royal College of Radiology, which people, uh, which is a very difficult exam to crack and hence people, uh, many people who would not like to shift to UK also undergo the exam to get the degree and that uh, is one that uh, raises your bar if you want to, if you're looking for a job in corporates. So that one FRCR is, creates a huge impact on your CV that uh, if you have cleared it, you must be definitely exceptionally good at what you do. If you want to, if you're looking to go overseas, if you're looking to practice in UK or other European countries, then it's an upper edge for you. Uh, to And apart from FRCR, there are many other exams like EDIR and uh, they have started MICR that is Masters in Indian Clinical Radiology. So uh, learning will never stop. Uh, you can proceed further with uh, whatever you like. So after radiology, it's always a dilemma whether you want to keep studying or you want to start working. So your choice, how would you like to go ahead? So now you have passed your MD radio diagnosis. Now, after yeah. you have entered into the market, I would say, or the real uh, clinical practice. So yeah. tell me what are the opportunities for a fresh radiologist? So once you come out with your degree of MD radiology, there is, there is actually, I won't say you have to struggle real hard to find something. There are plenty of opportunities waiting for you outside. So, here it is very difficult to this bar, since you get so much of uh, work outside. You are in a dilemma that you have to start working or we have to start a fellowship. Karna hai. And it's always because uh, you get a decent pay if you start working. But uh, if you go to fellowship, it's like residency only, extended residency. So, that's it if you are interested. So if you want to survive in the corporate world in metro cities, so specific fellowship requirement is there. Or fellowship, so it becomes easy for you to survive in the competitive world. And uh, even if you don't do anything ahead and you are planning to build up your own center or you have got a good work, then, then also it's fine. It's not very much necessary to go ahead with fellowships. Uh, so you mean to say okay, once you are out, you don't have to wait or you don't have to struggle. There yeah, are so yeah. many opportunities. Plenty, so many centers are waiting for you. So yeah. it's just like take a degree and then start working. It depends how do you want to. If you still feel you need to grow, you can. Uh, if you still feel you need to learn a lot, if you still feel you need to explore more, you can uh, stay in touch with some medical college or some multi-speciality hospital where you'll be getting follow-ups of the patients you do, which will not happen in your private center. Once a patient goes, you don't know what, if you will get the follow-up back on. So that's the difference. Money, you will get now on. Okay. Um, so how is the life of a radiology consultant? Like after five to ten years, because most of the aspirants they want to know okay what will be the future because you are into this field uh, for quite a long, long time and you have seen your seniors. So, what what is your say on that? Like the initial period is quite smooth. I just now I told that there are plenty of opportunities waiting for you. Now life of a radiologist, I'll say that it's quite structured. Structured as in, it's you who decide if you want to stay busy or if you want to stay relaxed. It's you who will decide how much you want to work. If you want to work more, you can do it. If you want to work less, you can structure it accordingly. So, it is on you. If you want to work and plus uh, go study something ahead, you can do that also. But uh, everything is very responsible ahead. Once you are post your post residency, post resident, each report you give outside, you feel ki, okay, chalo, itna zada hai. But your responsibility increases as a 
radiologist outside so that is one there once you are clear once you are very confident about your subject then you can definitely go ahead in a smooth way structured way life is sorted okay so that is uh, uh, like not, nothing to worry about work life balance because uh, in the emergency branches or uh, like uh, surgery medicine these guys they don't get much time to spend or to pursue their hobbies or uh, for family life social life so uh, you are saying that as a radiologist you can enjoy these things yeah i mean that's what i said we can structure it ourselves aisa nahi hai ki radio mein emergency nahi hai there are emergencies in radio but you won't find any workplace where one person is continuously working for 24 hours there are shifts if you want to do emergency you can work in the night shift hours so the work working hours are pretty much sorted everywhere you will find a radiologist 24/7 but there are different people working in shifts so that in that way it's easy and it's quite not so tiring i'll say okay i am asking you the last question uh, you just summarize what are the pros and cons of radiology as a post graduate specialty oh, okay so i start with pros uh, like i said before flexible working hours structured way structured uh, working pattern so you decide how much you want to work that's completely up to you uh, second thing uh radiology is a uh, requires a very vast knowledge so it keeps you updated with the knowledge of entire medical field so what happens is you, you whenever some uh modality person talks about uh some specialty person talks to you about something you are well acquainted and you know the subject if not fully at least you have an idea of every subject in mbbs so that is good that you are updated with all the uh, fields uske liye thoda mehnat bhi karna padta hai the syllabus is vast that will come in the cons but yeah you have to read everything uh, then next thing is the subject is very fascinating it is new especially if you are a technology savvy so it's like intermingling some uh, medical thing with some technological stuff which is very interesting i find it very interesting next is early settlement decent pay yeah i'm saying decent pay because uh, uh, radiology is earning money and uh, is a gold mine is all not very much unless you have your own center but the pay is decent uh, uh, and you can easily survive coming to cons so like i said before also in this interview the amount of money a radiologist will earn is not proportional to his or her skills this is a con second is the earning is all will always be a plateau if you are working in some corp, uh, private center or somewhere there won't be any major growth unless you own your center third thing is the saturation obviously the saturation all the branches but with radiology being an md also you will have to compete with other uh, consultant radiologists who are not md who have not spent 3 years so but still uh, you all will be somewhere treated equal and uh, the patients uh, get diluted towards the increasing number of uh, centers which are going so a patient will go to a center which is nearby his or her house and not come to you even though if you are good at what you do third thing so to emerge as better and stand out in the competitive field in metro cities you need to seek some more fellowships because of that though it is not compulsory but now it is becoming a trend Sec- next thing is radiation exposure so in diagnostic radiology it is not that uh, you know significant but it is very much significant when you are into interventional radiology so the radiation to your extremities is very much and that is somewhat of concern then comes about the syllabus too much to read and remember so from the gray cells of the brain to the medulla of the bone you need to know everything if you have read something one day you will be asked about something the other day so well acquainted about knowledge from head to toe you need to keep updating yourself keep revising even after you are a consultant so that is one call that you will have to complete continuously continuously keep yourself updated and also update yourself as the technology is growing so 
ऐसे नहीं बोल सकते हो कि आई डोंट नो टू ऑपरेट दिस आई डोंट नो टू यूज दिस टेक्नोलॉजी यू विल हैव टू लर्न एज द मशीन्स एडवांस यू हैव टू एडवांस विद इट नेक्स्ट थिंग इज द आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस व्हिच इज स्टोरिंग दीस डेज सो मे बी इन कमिंग 10 टू 10 टू 12 इयर्स बिकॉज़ ऑफ दिस आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस वन रेडियोलॉजिस्ट who is very technology friendly will be able to handle the work of 10 radiologists together so that is one thing which uh, we are all uh, bothered of that once artificial intelligence rises there might be a chance that radiology will uh, need decreases uh, medical legal cases medical legally these dates very important to avoid mistakes so uh, you have to be very on point to very on point and uh, concentrate while you report especially the medical legal cases and lastly i would say the most important core which i guess i have discussed before also that a patient will always remember and praise the clinician and the operating surgeon whom you have provided the diagnosis or helped but will not remember you or will thank you or whatever he will not even know your name okay so many patients many patients are think that the technicians have scanned them and it's over and you are just going to sign the report which is not which is obviously not true uh so that is one major con and um, but at the end we all know the clinicians know and everyone knows the importance of a radiologist and as all the radiologists you know keep saying that a radiologist will always be a clinician's clinician and a consultant's consultant so that is how it goes being a radiologist is not very easy it takes a lot of hard work and struggle to study read keep yourself updated and confidently sign a report that you have given that's it okay thank you very much uh, we all as a surgery community or as a clinician we uh, do appreciate your role and we know how pivotal role you play because uh, without uh, getting those information which uh, i would say you see the unseen before opening the abdomen you see all all the things so obviously it is of great help whenever uh, we get information from your side from your skills so um, i would say that uh, one of the very revolutionary thing which have occurred in medical field is the role of uh, radiologist because they have tremendously uh, you know changed the whole the things of diagnostics and now uh, they are entering into the interventional radiology that would again be a very you know uh, big gift uh, to the humanity so with this note i would like to you know congratulate you and uh, wish you all the best for your future journey thank you so so much for coming to uh, my channel and uh, tell us about your um, field and guide my viewers thank you very much uh, thank you so much and it was good to be here to speak to you and a major thanks should be coming to you because you are doing a great thing to enlighten young minds about all the branches and also um, as a teacher all my fellow colleague residents have always spoken very good about you so i have no personal teaching uh, as a experience with you as a student but your feedbacks i get from all your students are very rewarding and uh, the follow ups that you gave me from back in residency also helps me and so thank you for everything and it was great to speak here thank you